Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am bringing you yet another video. I am on a recording rampage right now while my kids are upstairs mostly sleeping and I wanted to do a review for you on Smart Bottoms diapers. Now I am a cloth diapering mom. I've done a couple other videos about cloth diapering which I will try and link for you in one of these corners. I believe it's this corner. I don't know. I can't tell. But I will try and link for you some of the other videos that you might find helpful. But these are the diapers that I'm using for my son. He is seven months old as of next week. And he is 29 inches tall and about 18 and a half, 19 pounds. And this is the diaper of choice for us. Um, these are Smart Bottoms. These are the 3.1s, which are a little bit bigger than the original 3.0s. They have 10 snaps, 10, 10 sets of snaps. They have a snap down rise, which I will show you here. Okay. So here's the rise completely undone. Um, he is on the closed setting, the most closed setting for the rise. And then inside here is organic cotton and there's a long soaker tongue as well as the inside is lined. It's also lined in organic cotton. Um, this one is, I think it's called 12 is the color name. This is navy blue with electric green snaps. So what I really like about this diaper, and I'm just going to say it right now, I really like Smart Bottoms. I'm going to give you an honest review on the things that I really like about it and the things that I might be a little struggling with, but overall, I really think these are worth the money. These retail at $30 per diaper. They are a more expensive diaper, but I do think that they are 100% worth every penny. These are made in the United States. Um, the woman who owns Smart Bottoms and manufactures Smart Bottoms, they're in Michigan. And um, they have excellent customer service. They come out with adorable prints. There are a lot of um, different colors that are in their regular lineup, different prints that are in their regular lineup. And then some uh, retailers do exclusive prints. So right now they've come out with um, a green color. I think that's limited Dublin for St. Patrick's Day, they did Five Points Adventure, which is a light blue diaper with a ton of white stars on it. Very cute stuff. So let's get down to practicals. Why do I like this diaper? I really love the fit of this diaper and for a few reasons. One reason is for this elastic in the back here. This elastic is the tightest but most comfortable elastic on any diaper I've used for my kids. Now I have used pocket diapers. I have used covers and prefolds, covers and flats. I've used different brands of covers, different brands of diapers. I've used hybrid diapers where they're like snap-in soakers and I've used a bunch of different brands. And this is the only brand that I have found so far to have a back elastic that doesn't cut into my kid's skin, but it is very tight. So this is what prevents poop from coming out. So if there's a, a blowout up the back, this elastic is going to catch it. Now I think what makes this great is that it's a very strong elastic, but in the stitching here, you can see that they leave a little room for the booty. So it's not just, you know, a flat back with an, a flat elastic here. It's an elastic, but then it kind of curves out just a tiny bit to leave room for, you know, the inside of the diaper and the baby's bottom. So it's not, um, you know, making a, just a tunnel up their butt crack. <laughs> Sorry, that's a little, uh, I don't know, graphic, but you know what I'm saying. If you've ever had a blow up the back, you know that the butt crack is really where it comes out. So um, this really blocks everything in and keeps everything inside the diaper. Um, the other reason why I love this diaper is because of this tongue. Now I've used uh, a similar diaper by Blueberry. It's the Blueberry Simplex diaper. They also have a soaker tongue, but it's not like this tongue. So this is just 100% cotton on both sides of the tongue. And what I like is that you can fold it in any configuration that you want. So for my son, I like to fold it up in the front here and get all of the absorbency up in the front and then close up the diaper. You can fold it in half. You can fold it halfway down like this. You can fold it up in the middle if you wanted, like this for a girl if you so chose. Um, but that's 
one of the reasons why I like this is because this isn't all bunched up or sewn inside the diaper. Um, you can really customize it to the needs of your baby, their size, their where they pee the most or where the most wetness is in their diaper. It's pretty awesome. Um, some of the challenges of this diaper are because the elastics are so strong and you might have a wiggly baby, sometimes I find it difficult to get it up in, in between the legs. You can get a bit of bunching here. These elastics roll in and they're very thick and they're very strong. They don't cut into the baby's legs, but sometimes they make it a little bit difficult to get a nice roll in and in between the legs. It just depends on your baby, their size, their fit. Um, I've never had a problem with leaking out the legs of this diaper, but that's the only thing that I've found that's been a little bit wonky. To get the best fit on this diaper, I have found that I need to always remember to push the fabric of the diaper up. So when you're buttoning it on your baby, sometimes the fabric underneath your snaps gets pointed down like this. And what happens is this. So you can see that the sides of the diaper flay out and you can see a little bit of white fabric. When you push the fabric up, so now all the fabric is facing upward under your snapped rise, you can see that the fit is much, much trimmer and none of the white fabric is showing. So this is really the key to getting a good fit, especially with this type of diaper. Um, I know I'm cutting my head off, but I really want to show you um, everything about the diaper. So um, this is something that I always have to remember to do, and it also keeps the snaps from folding backwards or folding over onto themselves too much. It really provides a nice structure behind the snaps when you have it buttoned onto your baby. So for absorbency, um, I definitely find that these are really great. Uh, my son can go three hours, sometimes if he's not peeing a lot, probably four hours in a diaper. If we're out on the road, I don't have to worry about leaks. He has soaked these before uh, without leaking, and he has soaked them before with leaking, but that's only because he's oversaturated the diaper, so then it has wicked onto the outer um, shell. It hasn't been because he's peed and it's not soaked and it's just coming out. Um, I like these also because they are very easy to wash, so when you put them in the washing machine, you know, if you're spraying, you spray off the poop or whatever you need to do. But then it just goes into the washing machine like this. This tongue will unroll in the washing machine and get agitated. And it stays very, very clean. I've only had minimal problems with staining on my diapers. Uh, mostly I use a zinc-based cream, so sometimes I'll get some shadow staining. And I also have high-efficiency washing machine. So I don't have an agitator in there, so I don't get the same type of agitation that I used to have where we used to live, um, but I find that everything stays pretty clean, everything stays very soft inside the diaper, um, and it dries really, really quickly. And that's another benefit of having an all-in-one that has um, a sewn-in tongue. Most all-in-ones will have all of this fabric stitched into the diaper itself, so when it goes into the dryer, all of these layers are, you know, hidden underneath like a, a solid piece of fabric, whether it's cotton or you know, microfiber, um, and it will take a lot longer to dry. Because this tongue comes out, this is able to circulate into the dryer and it's able to be dried much more quickly. So again, this is the Smart Bottoms 3.1 review. I give it two thumbs up. I definitely say it's worth it. Um, you can definitely find a lot of sales. They have a Facebook group called the Smarty Pants, and it's <laughs> and I'm part of that group, and it's a lot of enthusiasts about this diaper, and there's a reason why there's such a cult following for it. It's very trim-fitting, and you can definitely find them on sale. A lot of retailers do 15% off, and they also do some discounts if you're buying in bulk, so if you're buying 10 or more diapers for your stash, if you're sure you love it, um, you usually can get a discount through a real retailer. There are also buy-sell trade groups on Facebook, um, one of which I'm also a part of, which is just this, the um, Smart Bottoms Buy Sell Trade. Um, and people sell their gently used diapers, which is how I got most of my diapers. Most of my diapers I do buy gently used. And it's because, why not? If it's in excellent condition, if they're clean, you can always clean them, bleach them, strip them, whatever you need to do. Um, it's always worth it just to get it used. Don't, don't, you don't have to buy brand new for your baby. So... That's what makes cloth diapers wonderful.
All right, I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in my next video. Bye.